So, should we probably understand the SCP so we can, we can determine the thumbnail? Yes. Item SCP-3726. Wait, Object what? Oh, I grabbed the wrong SCP. <laughs> it's 5726. <laughs> 5726. I have... I guess my dyslexia played on me and I didn't notice. It's so okay. Noticed, Wait, that is a book. <laughs> it's okay. You know, if that's okay. Dyslexia happens. Oh, uh, there's a lot of reading in this one. Do you want me to do it? I, I can do it. Okay. Yeah. Unless you want to do it. But, uh, no, if you want to do it, that's fine. Yeah, I'd like to do it. Okay. Item SCP-5726. Object Class Eater. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5726 is to be kept cryogenically frozen in a high-security chamber within Site-19. In the event that the SCP-5726 regains consciousness, MTF- RHO 36 breacher's pest is to be is to subdue the anomaly with minimal force. That's ominous. But SCP 5726 1 is to be kept in a storage at site 19 under video supervision. Additionally, a GPS tracking device has been attached to SCP 5726 1. Description. 5726 is a sapient humanoid anomaly of unknown origins that strongly resembles and claims to be a fictional character, Ichigo Nakamura from the Sparkling Magical Girl Heart Darling Pink franchise. The character appears in both a 500 chapter Japanese graphic novel series targeted at children between the ages Seven and twelve, as well as an animated series comprised of two hundred episodes that aired from March seventh, two thousand and two, to February eighth, two thousand seven. A summary of media compiled by researcher Ito follows: Sparkling Magical Girl Heart Darling Pink follows a fourteen-year-old middle school student named Ichigo Nakamura, who leads a double life as Darling Pink. A magical hero who has been tasked with ridding the world of evil forces of darkness, Nakamura encounters various antagonists who have been possessed by darkness, including bullies at school, unfair teachers, and local gang members. After defeating them in combat, Nakamura is able to free them from possession and befriend them on her quest to save the world through the power of love. SCP-5726 initially attracted Foundation scrutiny after a series of anomalous killings and Hida Takayama, brain, Hida Takayama came to the attention of undercover operatives affiliated with MTF IOTA-10. Damn feds. That, that's, that's a code name. <laughs> Within the Gifu Prefectural Police Department. You're within the police department and your nickname is Damn Fe Okay. <laughs> That's amazing. The, the anomaly was subsequently apprehended by MTF PI 1. City Slickers. Okay. <laughs> On 2018.08.09, shortly after the murder of three adolescent males. Force was not required. One eyewitness, a 12-year-old Japanese male, was administered Class A amnestics following the incident. Despite its external physical resemblance to a human adolescent female, SCP-5726's biological makeup is only <laughs> superficially analogous to that of a human. That means it's not human inside. Yep. The subject lacks internal organs, blood, muscle tissue, and a central nervous system. Oh. Oh. Surgical analysis has indicated that SCP-5726's body is made up of multiple layers of 
skin-colored, flesh-like substance that rapidly heals upon incision. That's not terrifying. <laughs> Despite this, SCP-5726 still requires food and water, expresses pain, and is aware of basic human organs such as the stomach, brain, and heart. There's also um, uh, footnotes. Uh, it is unknown how SCP-5726 possesses nutrients and produces waste due to its lack of organs. As well as 5726 considers this to be the most important organ, which is the heart. Uh, of course they would, even though they don't have one. Yeah, I, I thought I would read the footnotes. That, that's fair. Yeah. SCP-5726 is able to generate pink explosive projectiles shaped like cartoon-style hearts from SCP-5726-1. Scepter that is able to summon itself while conscious. These projectiles vary in size and produce an exaggerated pop sound when created, followed by a sparkling effect upon detonation. The explosions produced by the bubbles are able to liquefy human flesh and cause significant structural damage. Jesus! So this is just anime gone wild in real life. <laughs> so it's like if a magical girl spawns <laughs> attacks, was a sparkling heart-shaped grenade. <laughs> Addendum. Oh, uh, do you want to do one of the voices of the log? I can. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Would you like to do the SCP's voice? You can sound like a psycho girl. <laughs> All right. From 2018 0 sorry. Just 2018.10.30.30. SCP 5726 was contained in a high security humanoid containment cell with access to age appropriate entertainment. Not yeah. including sparkling magical guitar yeah. like pink and any related media. That's fair. Yeah. Contact was senior researcher Tanako Nishigawa Jones. That sounds like an, a, a woman. Okay. All right. So interview log with SCP-5726. The interviewer is senior researcher Kanako Nishigawa Jones. <laughs> Interview was conducted in Japanese. It is established during recovery. SCP-5726 reacted negatively to its assigned number. Team leader Nishigawa Jones made the exclusive decision to refer to SCP-5726 by its apparent given name for the sake of improving compliance. Okay, let me try to do a lady voice for researcher. <laughs> Actually, I think my throat won't allow that. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to give the lady a, a guy voice. You're fine. <laughs> Hi, Ichigo. How are you finding the, fil the facilities thus far? <clears throat> well, um, they're okay, I guess. I don't understand why I'm here. It's not like I've done anything bad. I've never okay. done my voice that high before. I'm sorry. It's okay. You're doing a psychopath. It's good. <laughs> of course. Now you can tell me Kanako, if you prefer. I just have a few questions for you to answer. You were fighting with some people when the officer brought it or found you. Why was that? Well, they were bullying this little kid. They wanted his money. One of them had a knife and... I only just got here, but I could, couldn't just let that happen, you see? Of course not. You were trying to be noble, is that right? Mm -hmm. SCP-5726 nodded frantically. What do you, did you mean when you said that you only just came here? I only just came to this world. It might, must have been for a reason, surely. Maybe someone tried to summon a great hero from another dimension. That happened to me before, you know. Yeah, uh, further investigation revealed that Chapter 212 of Sparkling Magical uh, 
Girl Darling Pink involved a plotline where the protagonist is summoned to a dystopian alternate dimension where they do not exist. I see. So, what do you intend to do in this world? Well, I don't really know yet. What I always do, I guess. I'm a magical girl, you see. I'm supposed to purify bad guys. Nishigawa Jones is silent. SCP-5726 clarifies. Uh, that means I hit the one with, my, with the pretty purity heart bubbles, and it carries some darkness hiding inside them and make them bad. Then usually, we become friends. Pretty cool, right? That's very interesting. Yes. Oh. Would you like to read the closing note? Sure. Closing note. During the remainder of the interview time, 5726 expresses a desire to leave containment to continue to purify bad guys, which it considered its prime duty as Darling Pink. A request was subsequently filed by researcher Kanako Nishigawa Jones to appease 5726 by allowing it to supervise interaction with D-class personnel in possession of criminal records. This was approved. Okay, I guess I'm going to read a D-class. <laughs> Security footage 003 on 5726. Participants SCP-5726 and D-Class 8972. Supervisor, Junior Researcher Benedict Kim. I don't know if that's a man or a woman. We'll find out. <laughs> the we, we might not find out. Eh. Yeah. The plural footage from SCP-5726 is first supervised interaction with a D-class personnel. D-8972 was convicted in Australia of three counts of theft and domestic abuse of his wife. SCP-5726 was informed of D-class 8972's criminal record by supervising researchers. Should be noted that D-class 8 972 did not speak Japanese. SCP 5726's primary language of communication. Stop in the name of nothing, justice. Sorry, kid. I don't speak, uh, whatever you're speaking. It was wrong for you to do something like that to an innocent lady and to take things from stress without pain. D-Class 8972 turns away and knocks on the glass, attempting to attract junior researcher Kim's attention. Hey, what the hell is this? I think you have the wrong guy. This kid doesn't speak English. Come on, pay attention. Oh no, this is kind of hard. I never fought a bad guy who doesn't speak Japanese before. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Purification should fix him anyway. Pretty pink purity hearts, go! Single heart-shaped projectile explosives. Well, oh no! <laughs> uh, emerges from the tip of SCP-5726 with a pop and floats towards E-class 8972. <sighs> Upon hearing the sound, D-class 8972 turns around as the projectile makes contact with his face and detonates. The result explosion causes his head to explode. His decapitated body slumps to the ground. Blood splurts from the stump of his neck. It's all spitting out of him. Gross. There's so much of it. Hey, how do you feel? D class is 8972's corpse does not respond. SCP 5726 approaches the corpse and nudges it with its foot. The observation booth in the observation booth, researcher Kim can be seen retching. No, that's valid. I don't understand. Is it not all gone? Pretty pink purity hearts. <laughs> Five more projectile explosives emerge from SCP 5726 1 and land on D Class 8972's unmoving body. Where they detonate, reducing D-class 
917's body to a mixture of vicious, vi viscous red liquid and scraps of bone. Oh god. SCP-5726 is unaffected by resulting explosion. It bends down and dips its finger in the liquid, then tastes it. Dante, the darkness sure is weird in this world. I hope he comes back soon. Oh gosh. You know, I get why that <laughs> junior re <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I guess she thought if one explosion doesn't do it, more does, but it did what explosions do. Okay. Interview log zero three seven. Interviewed is SCP five seven two six. Interviewing senior researcher Kanako Nishigawa Jones and junior researcher Benedict Kim. Oh, we'll need a, a third voice, won't we? Maybe. I'll I'll try to do a second voice. Hey. Okay. Do you understand death, SCP-5726? No. What does that word mean? Killing is the act of causing death, especially deliberately. I know that you don't mean to hurt the D-class personnel, but the things that came out of them are blood and sometimes their organs, all which are necessary for sustaining human life. SCP-5726 looks at researcher Nijigawa Jones with clear incomprehension. Sorry, researcher Kanako. Can you speak Japanese, please? I don't understand other languages. Researcher Kim? What is it saying? It doesn't understand the concept of death. Maybe it just can't. It's like its brain just isn't programmed to get it. SCP-5726 looks between researcher and Nishigawa Jones, apparently trying to follow the conversation. Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Uh, okay, well, if it's not too much trouble, I do have a question, researcher Kanako. Aren't there any other girls my age around here? I'm so bored of purifying people. I don't understand how I'm supposed to be darling pink without any friends. I, I, I mean, I don't mean to offend you, Researcher Kanako, because you've been so very kind to me, but it's just that. I understand, SCP-5726. You haven't offended me at all. I am a researcher, and there are certain limitations to my position. I'm quite a bit older than you. It's natural for you to not think of us as friends, but I'm sorry. Which I could help, but I don't think something like that would be approved. Why not? It's complicated. I'm very sorry. Everything's so complicated here. I mean, everything made so much more sense back home. Can you elaborate on that? I just mean, I don't know, purifying people here is fun, but it's so easy. Now that I'm trying to fight back, they just run. It's so cool to see the darkness, like, you know, physically coming out of them, because it's not strong enough to do that back home. So, I didn't, I really feel like I'm doing something back, something here, you know? But they don't come back afterward. Why don't they come back? Where do you think they're going, SCP-5726? Why? Have you considered the fact that they might not come back at all? I... I don't understand. That's wrong, researcher Kanako. They're not gonna come back eventually. That's how it works. I feel like this is the conversation between an old, older woman and a little child. <laughs> I guess that's technically exactly what it is, but... <laughs> Thank you for your time, SCP-5726. Can I ask you a favor, researcher Kanaka? What is it? Well, it's just that 
I can't remember Otto's numbers. And I like you, and I think we're friends. So could you just call me Ichigo? Of course, Ichigo. Closing notes. Researcher Nishigawa Jones considered SCP-5726 as a knowledge bit that his victim did not come back after purification to be a breakthrough, though no further progress was made during the interview. Show uh, an email exchange between uh, Kim and Nishigawa. The junior researcher and the senior researcher. Okay. All right, this is Benedict Kim to Nishigawa Jones. Under the concern in regards of SCP 5726's moral compass, it has a very black and white sense of justice, one that can only come from infantile understanding of good and evil. The fact that SCP 5726 fails to comprehend these complex despite various attempts. Teaching it otherwise is worrying. What if one of the day, what if one day decides that we are the bad guys? You saw what it did to the poor D class. Sure, he was a scumbag, but he didn't deserve to be liquefied. I fear that the longer SCP-5726 stays under the Foundation control, the higher chances are, there are of it seeing something which could convince it to oppose us. It is, for this reason, I would like to propose a change in its special containment procedure. It's a unique anomaly. I mean, it's a unique anatomy possesses some challenges for determining the safest possible method of containment. In particular, continuous deep sedation seems to be out due to SCP-5726's lack of circulatory system. However, tests are revealing that it can survive extreme cold without external aid by entering a sort of hibernation. Tyro no, no. Cryoconservation seems to be potentially a good option. What do you think? Regards, Junior Researcher Benedict Kim. And Kanako's uh, response is, Benedict, I don't think there's much harm in giving Ichigo a chance. Yes, she exhibits violent behavior towards D class personnel. I mean, personnel. The fact that she doesn't understand what it's doing is good, is a good sign, not a bad one. She only ever harmed individuals that she knew to be bad guys. And she's convinced we're the good guys. I'm aware she's not the same as a normal child, but she certainly behaved. Perhaps she can be taught to do better with proper guidance. She certainly seemed to want to be good. She's not malicious, she's confused. And we're making progress. Slow going, but it's happening. Let's observe her a little longer before doing anything rash. Go ahead and keep researching cryonics for now. But I'm reluctant to take the nuclear option before we absolutely have to. Best wishes, Kanako. Another email from Benedict Kim. Senior researcher Nishigawa Jones, forgive me if this is out of line, but I fear you are becoming too attached to SCP-5726. Perhaps, perhaps we should seek a third party opinion. Regards, Junior Researcher Benedict Kim. You're L. only a student! Uh, what? I, I just said uh-oh, because... The, the yeah, two it seems like the, the student is becoming weary of the senior researcher. Yeah. He, he or she or they are are thinking that she has become too attached to the SCP. All right. Answer from research senior researcher Nishigawa Jones. Benedict. Nonsense. SCP-5726 is a little girl and a cold in a and the cold and sterile environment of the foundation isn't good for growing children. I don't think a little humanity ever hurt the foundation in its dealings with humanoids. Best wishes cannot. She from Oh. Are they from <laughs> uh Ethics Committee? Committee? <laughs> 
you mean uh, which one do you mean? Uh, the Nishikawa Jones, because there's, because a little hu humanity ever hurts the foundation. Yet most of the time they don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a lot of times where they care and do their best. Yeah. That's why they're able to help things like the chair. Remember what? Happened to the chair? Uh, yeah. So there are times where the foundation shows a lot of humanity. Yeah. But let's see what incident five seven two six dash zero one is. Incident does not sound good. Nope. The interviewed... Huh? I, I was saying... Uh, no, d d like you were saying, it doesn't sound good at all. Yeah. The interviewed is, of course, SCP-5726. The one interviewing is researcher, uh, senior researcher Kanako Nishigawa-Jones, as well as junior researcher Benedict Kim. Oh, the junior researcher... Forward, this excerpt section of interview log 049 is designated in 5726-01. Though SCP-5726 containment was ultimately not breached, the unexpected death of, researcher, of a researcher exposed critical weaknesses in SCP-5726's containment procedure. Oh no, what if it's going to die? Maybe. Is it bad? Is it bad that I hope it's the junior researcher and not not the the older lady? We'll find out. Please don't kill the wise old lady. Please. Okay. Shuffling her notes. Very good, SCP-5726. I'm pleased with your progress. That brings us to the end of our... Oh! Nishigawa Jones has a paper cut. A small quantity of blood is visible from the wound. Researcher Kim, are you over? That's her. <clears throat> are you all right? Yes, just fine. A paper cut. SCP-5726 stares at researcher Nishigawa Jones. It has gone very pale. It reaches out to touch Nishigawa Jones' bleeding finger, but stops just short of physical contact. Yeah. No, it can't be. What's wrong? SCP-5726 stands up. Oh, no! SCP-5726-1 scepter appears in its hand. In the distance, alarm bells begin to ring as the teleportation of SCP-5726-1 has triggered an emergency alert for MTF dash RHO 36 breachers pets that's that's actually a good code name researcher Kim stands up and begins to back away slowly SCP-5726 does not react to this it is focused on researcher Nichigawa Jones who has not yet moved you all this time you were even though you're so kind to me the darkness in this road it really is powerful I hate this place Researcher Nishigawa Jones is paling. Don't. SCP-5726, Ichigo, please don't. It's okay, Researcher Kanako. I'll verify you, and you'll be friends for real. Do your best to come back soon, okay? Researcher Nishigawa Jones turns and sprints to the door. Oh, jeez, I'm not sure if you're old enough to... Well... Pretty pink purity hearts, go! Oh, three pink projectile explosives erupt from SCP-5726-1 with their characteristic pop. Oh, Jesus. Are we going to see a, an a liquefied old woman? Yes. Uh, they make impact with the fleeing researcher Nishigawa Jones back. The resulting explosion liquefies most of researcher Nishigawa Jones' body and destroys the door frame. Bud coats the walls and floor of the meeting room as well as SCP-5726 and researcher Benedict Kim 
who has assumed the fetal position on the side of the room. There is a long pause. I do not blame researcher Kim. I don't know what gender they are, but they're, they're curled up. They're, they're seniors dead. Yeah. Researcher Kim, are you all right? Researcher Kanata was, she was corrected, but, oh, oh, come on now, Researcher Kim. Don't be afraid. The darkness is gone. Uh, Researcher Kim, who does not speak Japanese, lifts his head and makes eye contact. He does not attempt communication. Okay, the only male in this so far is Researcher Kim. Okay. And Researcher Kim is afraid of a little... I don't blame him. Mm -hmm. MTF-RHO-36, Breacher's Pet. Arrive and knock open the contained... Uh, uh, the containment chamber door. Apprehend 5726, who does not resist. Richard Kanaka's gonna back any minute now. They always do. Oh, <laughs> the MTF agents begin dragging away SCP 5726 toward the cage bed, which has been brought into the chamber. Research Kim! Closing note SCP 5726 was placed within the cage bed became unresponsive for 12 hours. She is, she's exploded. Yep. She's dead. Okay. Sorry, my brain just had to soak that in. She was fighting for that little shit. That little shit because she, ah. Oh. Okay, subsequent to the incident 5726-01, an emergency joint meeting was subsequently held by the Ethics Committee and Containment Resources Committee in order to dictate an immediate future for SCP-5726's containment. Through SCP-5726's psychological welfare has been, I mean, those SCP-5726's psychological welfare has improved significantly under the guidance of senior researcher Nichiko Jones. It was determined that SCP-5726's unpredictable reaction made it con made its continued consciousness an untenable long-term solution. Untenable, yeah, yeah, that's that's fair. But they exploded her. The SCP exploded her. Yeah. Addendum 5726.2. Shift to current containment procedures. On 2019, February, uh, 20, uh, on February 21, 2019, an attempt was made to place SCP-5726 in a tap Hygrogenic storage. Senior researcher Benedict Kim was selected to replace senior researcher Kanako Nishigawa Jones as an SCP 5726's primary point of contact and was instructed to persuade 5726 to willingly enter the previously prepared cryostasis chamber. The following is an ex excerpt from Security Log 5726 302. Due to his inability to speak Japanese, researcher Kim was provided with an instant module in order to facilitate communications. SCP-5726 had previously in been informed that cryo cryostasis chamber was a new scientific innovation that had been crafted to amplify its powers and improve its ability to purify darkness. The following excerpt is taken from 23 minutes and 34 seconds after SCP-5726 has entered the cryostasis chamber. SCP-5726 is lying on the in the cryostasis chamber. It's cold enough inside that it breathes. Its breaths are visible. Frost is beginning to form around its mouth and nose. How are you feeling? It's cold in here. And smell it feels like the walls are closing in on me. Are you afraid of small places? 
No, of course not. Heroines, heroines aren't afraid of anything. That's good. I'm sure they aren't. But if you were afraid, you could close your eyes. That way, you wouldn't be able to see the world. After a moment's hesitation, SCP-5726 closes its eyes. I'm not afraid. Just resting my eyes for a little. Oh, I thought. Of course, you had a difficult day yesterday. You should take a nap while the process finishes. You won't leave while I'm not looking, right? Don't go anywhere. Just stay here. I'll stay for as long as you need. I will do what is necessary. SCP-5726 and researcher Kim are silent for 30 seconds. Researcher Kim, I think I know what death is now. Oh? It's what I did to researcher Kaneko. She's not coming back, is she? No. Death is something only the darkness would do. SCP-5726 begins visibly trembling. Maybe where you came from. Here, it's part of life. The darkness here is strong, but I can't be defeated. When this is d done, I'm going to beat the d darkness to make sure no one d dies again. Didn't he say you were going to nap? SCP-5726 and researcher Kim are silent for 50 seconds. It's cold in here. I know. SCP-576 and researcher Kim are silent for 58 seconds. Researcher Kim? Yes. SCP-576 is silent for 15 seconds. I say for Kim. SCP-576 becomes unresponsive. Rest now, Ichigo. Everything will be okay. End log. And that's it. Yeah, that's that's very dark. That that's dark. Now let's look at the thumbnail again. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. By the way, that that head they're they're holding is from Poppy Playtime. We technically never get a description of Ichigo, but considering yeah. he. We can call this inaccurate because I give her tits. As well as the head of Poppy Playtime. <laughs> well, yeah, that's also inaccurate, but they gave a small child boobs. Yeah, because what I remember from most Magical Girls that I see, like in anime, they're usually flat chested or don't have that big of a chest because they're young. Yeah. Unless there's someone like Sailor Moon who started off having a very flattish chest. Yeah. As she gets older, it gets somewhat different, but is generally still flattish. Doesn't Ichigo mean strawberry? Maybe. Yes. Yeah. So, the pink makes sense, but the, the giving her an adult body and flashing boobs of a child... Also, I know there wasn't a description of her costume, but that costume doesn't make sense. They clearly know nothing about Magical Girl. Yeah. I mean, they literally crossed two gloves together. Pick one or the other. No both. Yeah. We ready for the video? What rate, number rating should we give the the thing? I, I already gave it a four for the male. You know what? That's fair. They sexualized the child. It's not the first time. Uh, Let's see. Uh oh. Did they not put the right copyright? Well, it'll depend if they ever use, um, 
this picture, you know, the sparkly magical girl that ain't pink? Yeah. They did not credit the creator of that oh. anime type of thing. So if they use that, We'll, we'll have to wait if they use it at any point of their of the video. Oh, goody. Be ready? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, there there it goes. My 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 V2 model broke for a second. Okay. I was just staring, looking at the guy. <laughs> all right, now let's see if they keep all the characters. And they do when... They can't catch me. <laughs> They'll never catch me. What the fuck? The man snickered to himself. He wiped the bloody blade across his forearm. He had been about his bloody work for a while now. Did they even go Jack the Ripper in this family? <laughs> I I think they put a random serial killer in. <laughs> yeah. Because Jack the Ripper is from a completely different era, let's be honest. Yeah. Leaving clues and hints as he went along. But the police weren't smart enough to find a well, man I like him. This isn't accurate because this looks like it's in England and she had never until meeting a uh, researcher Kim met anyone who didn't speak Japanese. Yeah, that's the, the reason why I said that is because it looks like from England. That's why I said, is this Jack the Ripper? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they've already slightly modified her history. Yeah, and also, I'm not going to say anything, but she's not wearing underwear. I'm not going to say anything about that. I think she is wearing underwear, just they not did. the best underwear. Yeah. They, they look like thongs. They put thongs he was doing murder victim. I don't know. Yeah. Doing God's work now, ridding the streets of these foul creatures. He heard a whistle in the distance. What? So soon? He angrily packed away his instruments. Something had interrupted his evening's work. He Did hurriedly he took off down the street. Racist against England. Maybe. <laughs> well, think about they... it. It's supposed to be my in modern day, like Jack the Ripper. Yeah. You can't tell me that's not racist against English somehow. <laughs> like it always has some Jack the Ripper serial killer. And plus, we don't even know what Jack the Ripper looks like. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> Hell, they could be any race. We don't even know. <laughs> a lot of people think it might be one Ameri American serial killer, but that's 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 not here but nor there. Yeah. Right. They were to catch him. It wouldn't be this way. They need. Alright, so when in the room. They needed my car uh, keys. I'm back. Welcome back. Let's see what this weird time backward has any has to do with SCP in any way whatsoever. Yeah. Need more than sheer dumb luck to catch him, he thought to himself. He looked back to see a cartman stumbling upon his latest work. He walked the streets. Another I need another. That isn't enough to satiate my desires. Oh no. Oh, Jake will need another tonight. As he continued what? on, a feeling of unease uh, came over know. him. He looked at his shadow, casting a larger-than-life gloom over the walls. What was this? Him? Scared? He was the one they whispered about as they cozied up to their fireplaces. <sighs> Get a grip, man. You're not one for fear. You are fear. He grinned to himself. Imagine that, being scared of these streets. These were his streets now. He headed for the pub. He knew he'd find his next victim there. It was almost too easy. 1.35 a.m., 
A good enough time to be cleansing the streets. Slash, slash, Stop. slash. Sorry, it's just, they really are doing Jack the Ripper, like you said. Yeah, um, I called it. <laughs> Jack the Ripper isn't someone from modern day. He's not hopping around in England. Yeah. This is racist. Weirdly racist. <laughs> I'm not sure how you get racist against English, but here we are. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure Jack the Ripper was more calculated than this. Yes, he was. He was actually a doctor. There was evidence how, uh, and how he cut the people that he was actually medically trained. Yeah, so he wouldn't be going slash, slash, slash. No, he would not. <laughs> I mean, he was a sick psychopath, but he was at least a medically trained Sick yeah. She wouldn't trouble him anymore. In modern day. Yeah. It's been over a hundred years. He's fucking dead. <laughs> now it was time. Oh my god! <laughs> As he went to task, moving and rearranging her body, he felt the shadow again. It creeped up on him like a bitter wind. He raised his head to the wall in front of him, but nothing was there. But his own shadow. Get a grip, man. Finish your masterpiece. He put his head down and continued his bloody work. But it wasn't long till he felt it again. Someone was watching him. He spun around, knife in hand. All right, you'll be third tonight. But nothing was there. Just the empty alleyway and the That's fog rolling past. Draw a scalpel. Yeah. The real one using a scalpel. Yep. And with precision. Okay. He took a nervous breath. You are the fear. He bent his head back down. A trickle of sweat rolled down his neck, despite the cold night air. <laughs> a footstep. He froze, his eyes wide in horror. No. It couldn't be. How could they get the drop on old Jake? Another footstep, splashing through water. Jake? No. Okay, so it's not Jack the Ripper. Or, or maybe it is Jack the Ripper and they just called Jack Jake. <laughs> maybe they're... They're literally making their own serial killer up that's literally Jack the Ripper, only they're calling him Jake, so it doesn't look like they're racist. But the, the train has already left. Yeah. No, no, nobody gets the drop on me. Savor your last breath, your Jake's meal tonight. He stood in turn, what? knife brandished and at the ready. What he saw before him wasn't at all what he had expected. A teenage uh, okay, girl so it's not, it's better in a pink thumbnail. stood before him. Wait, did what they her up? Maybe. They got a teenage girl. The SCP, let's see the description of her. A 14 year old girl. Okay. So well, they got rid of the big chest. Sorry. That's good, but you know, yeah. Okay. But she did, they did warp her into England. Where she doesn't speak the same language. Right. Yeah. Are they gonna have her speaking English perfectly? Yep. Okay. You know they can't wait, hold on, let's see. Did they get yeah, because they only have stuff for French, Russian, and Hindi. <laughs> okay, press play. <laughs> he took a deep breath <sighs> and laughed to himself. <laughs> oh, sweetie, 
Don't you know better than to sneak up on someone in the dead of night? The girl tilted her head to the side. You're a bad man. I'm here to fix that. Oh, she are can't you? Speak English. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you notice this? Hey, don't you know this is Japan, not England? <laughs> uh! <laughs> well, my dear, go on then. Come and get me. Hi! <laughs> this should be good. Let's see if your blood is as pink as that pretty little dress. He walked towards her, knife in hand. I can see the darkness within you. It's very strong. But no matter, I am Ichigo Nakamura, sparkling magical girl, darling pink. Prepare for purification. Out of thin air, a scepter appeared in her hand. She pointed it at the man, and a pink heart materialized, moving towards him. He oh stared, my God! Eyes wide in shock and amusement, the heart reached his face. A sudden explosion of blood, brain matter, and bone. The headless body stood for a second and then collapsed to the ground. The girl walked over to the body and looked down upon it. How do you feel? She prodded the lifeless body with her foot. Oh, they got rid of the D-class. Hello. All better now? Still, so well, much darkness within. Been into containment yet, but we don't know if they did. Yeah. I think he needs more purification. She raised her scepter again. Stop! The voice came from behind. She looked back to see a man in a lab coat, surrounded by what looked like police or special forces. Who are you? My name is Klaus. I'm from the... I'm from a foundation. What do you want? I need you to stop and come with me. Why? We need to ask you some questions. She thought for a moment and then smiled. Okay. MTF Pi-1, take her in. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-5726, Sparkling Magical Wait, Girl, Darling. Let me look to see if they're listed. I think they are. <laughs> uh, Sparkling Magical Girl, Darling Pink. Okay, let's see if they're listed. Maybe that's for NTF uh, 10 for damn feds. Maybe. I I I'm being generous here, okay? <laughs> Pink, I don't, don't forget to subscribe. The MTF from the, the, the file. Yeah. Subscribe. Oh my god. Chen uh, walked into the lab. I want to smack him. <laughs> in front of his computer, making some odd gestures. What yes, exactly? Is practicing magical girl. Oh my gosh, I even have to catch a Are you doing? Oh, I <laughs> uh, didn't see you there. Uh, just, um, practicing my gestures. Just stop that. Got it. Uh, how's the girl? She's fine. You want to talk to her? Yep, go ahead. I'll be right along. As Chen walked out, he called back over his shoulder. You should work on your ubu too, while you're at it. Oh my god. What? It's not... It's uwu and uwo. Not... What? That's what the fuck you said. <laughs> Get it right, motherfucker. Well, I said what, though? So. Yeah. Uh oh, I was talking to you, Jerry. I was talking to the motherfucking video. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Get it right, motherfucker. <laughs> I think he just said, oh, well, but in a boring way. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon, uh, Ichigo. How are we today? Hello. Why I'm the fine, thanks. You? I'm good. How's Agent Chen been treated? Yeah, and, and I have a, a fucking rabbit in a pink CP <laughs> Foundation bag. This means oh. one woman and one man. Yeah. He's very nice. Very funny. Funny. Ch Chen. This Agent Chen. Just because you don't understand my level of humor doesn't mean other people don't. 
Right. Uh, anyway, let's get down to it, shall we? Ichigo, where do you come from? Oh, another world. I've only been here a short while. Maybe I was summoned. It's happened before. Interesting. And why did you kill that man? Kill? I didn't kill. I purified him. Um, you That's blew his head off? Don't worry about it. She speaks, but like she doesn't know what kill is. It's not until the very end when she isn't cryogenically done that she somewhat understands death. Yes, because um, how she had gotten to know Kanako, and then she realized, oh fuck, that's what kill is. My that lady isn't coming back. Yep. Then Kim's like, yeah, she's not coming back. About that, he's fine. Uh, he's not. Y you blew off his head. He'll be back. No, he won't. You blew. His head off. Totally normal. He'll be back soon. I took the darkness out of him. Wait. Kloss looked at mm. Chen. Can you give us a moment, please? Sure. Kloss took Chen to a corner. That that man, did he um come back? You mean the guy in the street? Yeah. The one with the knife? Uh-huh. The one who was killing people? That's the one. The one with no head? Um, yes. So, you're asking me... If the guy in the street with a knife who kills people and has no head came back... That's right! He has no head. I see your point, but maybe he came back. Look, Doc, oh my God. I've got no idea. Why don't you just get a D-class, let her blow his head off, and see if he comes back? Kloss raised an eyebrow. Oh my God. Doc, I wasn't serious. Now, Ichigo, do you sense darkness in it? Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Lots of darkness. They're, they're just going to kill the D-Class now. Oh, no. Now, remember, the D-Class was a male. Yes. But my pretty purity heart bubbles can fix that. Oh, oh man. That he was Australian. So... Probably white. Yeah. And it looks like they made him and, black. Okay. Yep. Okay, Ichigo, you go right ahead. They she stood up. probably made him one of the specific natives of Australia. Which yep. means this is racist. <laughs> Again. <laughs> The scepter appearing in Unless a hand. It, doing the a woman. bubble formed from the scepter and moved across the room. It hit the object and exploded. Oh wait, no, that was- down they didn't use the D-class, they used a doll! Oh, what? <laughs> they, they used a poppy playtime doll! Now headless. Ichigo, do you understand the concept of death? Death? I purified it, don't worry. <laughs> Fuck the D-class, we're, we're using dolls now. I'm not counting the D-class as being in the story with how little... <laughs> they didn't speak, they just literally brought the doll in. Yep. It'll come back, and then we can all be friends. Ooh. Yeah, that's a firm no. What do we do with her? The suggestion has been made to cryogenically freeze her. She's too dangerous for simple containment. That scepter breached security. Who knows? The entire reason for the anything in the the SCP story. Yep. Watch, they're gonna get describing a bit right at the end. <laughs> they always do. I want to know what what. Uh, because they do like inspirational messages at the end and what you should not do. I want to hear what it is. Yes, vampire. They had her say woo woo. <laughs> if she can too. Harsh, but I suppose it's the best choice for now. It is, unfortunately. There is just one more thing, though. Yeah? What's that, Doc? Ooh. What the? 
I I want to kill him. Why? I I just want to smack the living shit out of him. Despite its external physical resemblance to a human adolescent female, 5726's biological makeup is only superficially analogous to that of a human. The subject lacks internal organs, blood, muscle tissue, and a central nervous system. Why did they? Why did they put something right near the private parts? Technically, that's right where her crotch would be. Yeah, look. <laughs> She has a glowing ball for a uh, private area. I'm not saying any more details. Because and a central nervous child. system. Yeah, I know. They're sexualizing Surgical... a child! What Analysis has indicated that... ...in her x-ray. Maybe. 5726's body is made up of multiple layers of skin-colored, flesh-like substance that rapidly heals upon incision. Despite this, 5726 still requires oh food God. and water, expresses pain, and is aware of basic human organs such as the stomach, brain, and heart. 5726 is able to generate pink explosive projectiles shaped like cartoon-style hearts from 5726-1, a scepter that it is able to summon to itself while conscious. These projectiles vary in size and produce an exaggerated pop sound when created, followed by a sparkling effect upon detonation. The explosions produced by these bubbles are able to liquefy human flesh and cause significant structural damage. 5726-1 is to be kept in storage at Site-19 under video supervision. Additionally, a GPS tracking device has been attached to 5726-1. 5726 is to be kept cryogenically frozen in a high security chamber within Site 19. In the event that 5726 regains. That fucker take the place of Kim when he was talking to her while she was falling asleep. Yep. Consciousness. MTF Row 36, Breacher's Pets, is to subdue the anomaly with minimal force. Humans, life and death are topics never far from our minds. An old Japanese woman as a scientist, <laughs> as a researcher, as a researcher. How hard is it? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Consider a being which has no concept of death, that cannot die. Would they feel the ethical and moral weight of murder? As always. What? Jerry, you need to hear what... <laughs> you heard what she said was a life lesson, right? Yeah. What the fuck? Alright. Four. Um, yep, don't have to say anything. They were moved. Literally every character... Yeah. Added gore or violence. I have to say, it's a zero. Yeah, I, could... I feel about that. Yeah, I mean, they. It was a pretty violent in the article. <laughs> Discard yeah, that. they even removed a little violence. Yeah. So luckily, they didn't use the you know the picture. They just referenced the name. The you anyway. know. All right. TV's from the pilot article four. Four. What the fuck? No, no! Oh. I actually, I fucking hate the side of my mouse. The side of my mouse has this fucking button that makes me go back a page. Okay, so it saved everything. I forgot it automatically Four. saves. Four. Yeah. Which means it's got a 20%. Still better than the last one! <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> 